Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import in BVH motion files to iClone using DAZ Studio. To get your motion, you'll first want to go into the Pose and Animate panel in DAZ. The first thing you'll want to do is to click over to the Animate 2 tab and select your motion. Choose the motion you'd like and simply drag it on to your character's track. Currently, the motion will be in your Animate 2 track, but there won't be any keyframes in the timeline yet. To do this, you'll need to go back to your Animate 2 track, right-click and select Bake to Studio Keyframes, and select Yes to confirm. Now over in the Timeline track, you'll see your keyframes. So now you have your motion baked, so the next step is to export it into BVH format. To do this, just go up to File, Export, and then choose the BVH format and enter in your motion name, and press Save. You can change your exporter options if you want, but I'll just keep mine at default. Because you can import multiple motions at a time into 3D Exchange 5, I'm also going to bring in a couple of other motions as well. It's a bit faster to convert and import your motions as a group, instead of going back and forth one at a time. The most important step in DAZ is to export your character's T-Pose as a BVH as well. The T-Pose is the default position for rigging in 3D Exchange and helps to provide a reference for all the other motions. Just export this the same way you did the other motions. Now open up 3D Exchange and the first thing you'll want to do here is import in your T-Pose motion. Once you've done that, you can select Import and then bring in all your other motions as well. You'll see that all of your motions will now display in the motion library. You can simply double click on any of the motions to preview them, like I'm doing here. If you're satisfied, then you'll want to set up your bone rig here so the feet are resting on the floor plane. Just raise it up until the heel areas are resting on the grid. Don't worry about the extraneous parts coming off the feet. Once you're done that, your next step is to select Convert to Non-Standard in order to begin your motion retargeting. 3D Exchange makes it really easy to map the bones in a single click if you're using a standard rig such as DAZ for Genesis, 3DS Max Biped, or My Human IK. To map the bones here, you simply need to go up and select the DAZ Genesis template. Once you do that, all the bones will be mapped automatically, and the circle on your reference image will turn green. You're almost ready to import your motions into iClone. However, you'll first want to ensure that your T-Pose is optimized for the best motion mapping results. So go over and click on Load T-Pose, and in your 3D Exchange directory, you'll find a file called daz for genesis underscore bvh dot 3dx profile. Just open this up and it will give your bone structure an optimized T-Pose. Now you can test out your motions by clicking the active box on the right, selecting any motion and clicking preview. Once you've had your fill of that, simply click Convert, and your bone structure is now officially a non-standard iClone character. This means that all of the motions that you've imported have now been converted to iMotion format and can be used in iClone. You can again preview your motions from the motion library here if you wish. In order to export your motions to the iClone motion library, you'll need to add them to your perform editor before you officially export them. Just select the motions you would like to import and click Add to Perform to add them to the Perform Editor library. The tracks in the Perform Editor will be exported as iMotion files. Next, just go up and click Export. Make sure your animation box is selected and you've entered in the desired directory to save the motions to and click OK. Now in iClone, you can simply double click on any motion in the Content Manager once you have a character selected and that motion will apply to your character. You can essentially take any motions you have from other sources such as Daz, Mixamo or others, convert them from BVH format using 3D Exchange 5 and incorporate them into iClone where you can further customize them using the powerful motion tools or even combine them with other iClone motions as well.